right, y'all. So this pastor gets arrested and charged for some of the craziest things. I mean, we, we already know what's been going on with uh, Gateway Church, the allegations, the lawsuit going on there. But it's like, just like I said, you think enough could be enough and enough is just not enough. Um, and I want to show you, share with you guys this here. This is a pastor. Uh, he was arrested and charged and fired for allegedly stealing nude photos of a church member during life group. We're seeing a lot of allegations and things happen as we see in the public school systems and things that are really happening in the world. And I'm not saying that although it's expected to happen there, but what's really crazy is that we're seeing this stuff happen in the church. A lot of people take their children, their kids, their teens to the church because they want them to have a better upbringing. They want them to be around a better environment and have better influence. But it's getting it's getting scary because we're quickly moving into a position and we're quickly moving into a place where the place where people would go for safety and security is becoming the place that people are becoming victims of very, very sadistic and sad things. So let's read about this. This says Mills. This is the pastor here. There's a picture of him right there, Gabe Mills. Uh, Mills has been charged with two counts of capturing an intimate representation and was released after posting a $7,500 cash bond. Mills' next court date is October 9th, which has just passed. Um, if in, if convicted, the former pastor faces up to $10,000 in fines or up to three years and six months in prison. Uh, the investigation remains open due to the possibility that other victims exist. Wow. Wow. So he posted a $7,500 cash bond after stealing. Now... The headline says he stole them, but in the description down here, it's saying that he captured them himself. And we see that all over today on the internet. Sometimes you see these men in public and they're just trying to capture photos of innocent women who are just innocently shopping or just minding their own business. This is just very sad and it's sick because not only is it for, you know, younger people, but it's also... Like I said, it's happening in the church and it's, 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 oh my goodness. Lead pastor Kevin Taylor releases a statement. Uh, Journey Church's lead pastor Kevin Taylor releases a statement directed towards the church and the church's Christian life school family. Um, it, it, what's interesting about this is because this is a church. This is a life group, a youth group, you know, cell groups, you know, little Bible studies. You know, you most of us remember vacation Bible school growing up. So just imagine that this is vacation Bible school. Essentially, this is a cell group. This is youth night. This is ice cream social night. Y'all remember those things. And there's a pastor who's over these youth most likely a youth pastor, someone that parents trust their youth around, someone that the church trusts their youth around. And he's taking inappropriate pictures and keeping them for himself. I would say this is almost similar to a Diddy situation. And whereas Pastor Gabriel Mills was able to get out on a $7,500 cash bond, yeah, no, I would have kept him there until we get done with this trial, until we get done with this case and really see what we're going to do with you. Because if they, they said that the case is still open because there may be other possible victims and we're going to let them out on a $7,500 cash bond. What did the church do? Did the church send him down? Hopefully this other pastor is going to say it in this statement. Maybe they set him down or did they put him right back into it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of those broad statements that always go out that everyone puts out gateway church did it uh the so many other pastors and preachers and and elders do it when something comes out scandalous about the church it's always the same perfect you know christian jargon you know text but let's see what it says he says one of our former pastors gabriel mills was recently arrested for charges related to capturing intimate material without consent this news has come as a great shock to our church and school community. Our community, Journey Church, and Christian Life School is founded on the biblical principles of trust, integrity, and respect for all individuals. These values bind us together and guide our actions. 
We hold our leaders to the highest standards of moral conduct, and any violation of these values is deeply troubling. We terminated Gabe's employment upon learning of the allegations that led to his arrest. So they did let him go. Okay. Because I'm like, it's one thing for the judge and them say, hey, get you out on a bond. But it's like, are you going to really put him right back into the youth ministries? You know, like, and then I know these churches come out with this stuff, but it's like, did you really not know? Or were there other people that knew they just didn't get caught? That's always the kind of sketchy thing about these situations, man. I, I, that's, that's, that's the only thing that I say about it. That, that's, that's really the only thing I say about it because it uh, you just never really know. Because even in this situation with Gabriel Mills, no one would have ever thought. You don't think about this stuff when you're going to go to church, youth group. All right, it says, at this time, Gabe is entitled to due process, and we will cooperate with law enforcement as they conduct their investigation. We are committed to transparency and accountability throughout his process and will await further information from the authorities. Our hearts go out to anyone who may have been impacted by this situation. We are offering counseling and pastoral care to those affected. We ask that you respect their privacy during this time. We do not have any evidence to suggest students were affected by this situation. This is a time for prayer, reflection, and healing. We must lean on our faith to each other to navigate through this challenging moment. Now, before we keep this going, th it's interesting to me because he's saying that we do not have any evidence to suggest students were affected by this situation. But the headline and the reason that he was even charged and the reason why the case is open is because they must have some sort of evidence or was this just an inclination? Um, but they must have something that's proving that this gentleman had some inappropriate content of someone else without their consent. So I'm not sure what they mean by that, that they don't really have any um, evidence um, at this time. Interesting. It says, let us be reminded of Jesus's call to love one another, even in times of trial, and to seek the truth with grace. We understand that you may have many questions, of course, and we are here to provide guidance and support. Please feel free to reach out to the church and school leadership with any questions or concerns. Let us continue to seek God's guidance through prayer as we strive to be a community rooted in love, even in times of hardship. May we remember that our strength comes from the Lord, and may we hold tightly to his promise during this time. Man. Man, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. You know, it, it, it becomes situations where it's like, I, I know we got to play, you know, there's grace. There's definitely grace. You know, brother, repent, Gabriel Mills, repent, get out of that situation, stop, you know, deal with the consequences of your actions, whatever the case may be. But my thing, man, this is just sad all the way around. I, I, I. I just don't know where the world has come to where it's like even the church and I'm not speaking for all, but one is already too many. y'all. For one church to be in situations like this is already too many. These are supposed to be men of God. Men of God. Man. Leaders in the church, leaders in our homes. Leaders and contenders for the faith. And with this free will that we've been given, man, the enemy has really seeped his way into the minds and the hearts of so many people to allow and lead them to do acts like this, man. We're praying for the families who may have uh, been affected by this. We're praying for the youth that may have been affected by this. And we are also praying that as this case stays open for the possible fact that there may be other victims, we are praying that there were no other victims because... This is an unfortunate situation. No matter which way you look at it, I definitely believe this is an unfortunate situation, man. We got to pray for our world. We got to pray for our believers, pray for our men. You know, there definitely is an attack on the hearts of men, the minds of men. Pray for our women, you know, as they are innocently walking through this world, looking, seeking for the protection of, of Christ, you know, hoping and depending that, you know, men of God who are in Christ as well or claim to be would, um, be protecting them too and not attacking and allegedly stealing inappropriate photos of them without their consent. But, uh, man, it's, uh, phew. it's tough, man. This is tough. Like I said, all I can say is just pray, pray for these people, man, and pray for the families who may have been affected by it. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. I appreciate you guys sticking all the way through to the next one. Y'all I'm out.